Ladies and gentlemen, hello and welcome back to Factorio Rails Not Robots. My name, of course, is Obert Potato. In the last episode, we managed to successfully get this power production area almost up and running. We managed to kill off two very, very uh, large biter bases. And holy shit, now we've got 248 alien artifacts and we're... I don't know, we're barely 10 hours in, I would say. Let me, you know what, let me just check. Let me just check how far in we are. Yeah, we're 8 hours in. That's that's crazy. That's really, really crazy. Let's just save now. We're 8 hours in. And, uh, yeah, we're not even, you know, that's that's unusual for us to be, uh, you know, forging ahead that dramatically. Uh, but whatever. Uh, in fact, we need to go back up to the power production area because we need to take the train with carriages down because that's the wrong way. That's the wrong way. Reverse. Beep. Beep, 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 beep. There we go. Okay, fantastic. Um, let's go back up here. Let's get the train with the carriages on so that we can line it up at our output area. Because, of course, in our station, we are going to need to create one area that we are going to use for output. In fact, let's just say uh, main station output run the train, go to station. Perfect. Be gone with you. Be gone. I love the fact that we've got uh, an entire sort of rail network set up. Oh, we just just managed to get through those trees. It's very, very tight. There we go. We're going to come down. We're going to go in. We're going to go across. And... Boop. Stop the train. Remove the station. Hop out. Fantastic. All right, let's get the F5 view up and running. As much as I hate to see it, it is a uh, sad reality of the situation. So we do need to use fast inserters. Like, fast inserters are just... You know, I've really not worried about them for the majority of this game, unfortunately. Like, I just, I just don't have any fast inserters at all. I've just not set up any. Like, we've barely got probably about 20 all around the base. I mean, well, a couple there, I suppose. Maybe 50. But, you know, we're still using antiquated technology. We're not even we're not even using this this newfangled nonsense. Why? 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 We should not be building electronic circuits at this stage in the game. Let me just pick up a whole bunch of them. There we go. That's fine. We've got a whole bunch of electronic circuits now. Let's build a whole bunch of fast inserters. Fantastic. That is exactly what the doctor ordered. Let's take up this. Let's, uh, we're going to need to put down some long power cables here because we need to. There we go. Just to get the, get the power cables out of the way. F5 view on. Okay, perfect. 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 All right, great. That was relatively simple, actually. And, yeah, so this is going to be the only output area that we actually have in the entire main station, I think. So, the rest of these tracks are going to be input, because our factory consumes more than it actually outputs. Uh, so, yeah, this is, this is going to be kind of special, and that's why I suppose I'm sort of fleshing it out at the moment, as opposed to putting it off, like I normally do with almost every project in Factorio, uh, I guess. Okay. No, this is actually going to be going the other way for once. Huh. Yeah, I didn't think about that. How are we going to manage to do this? Uh, probably with some splitters, actually. One, two, three, four splitters. Yeah. I, I complete. You know, I've never really built, like, an output like this before, I suppose. Like, I've always... Always... Just, just you know, done it the normal way, I guess. But... We could sort of try doing something a little bit radical. One, two, three, four more. All right, here's the plan. Coal is going to come here, and then it's going to obviously be split like so, like it normally is. And then we're going to split it up again. In fact, is, the be is this the best way to do it? This is, this is not the best way to do it. This is absolutely not the best way to do it. Hmm. Um, yeah, let's move these dudes sideways by one which I know it's gonna make it look a little bit inconsistent but that's okay ok 
Okay, we'll just take the last row up and last row up. Perfect. I have no idea why I've got it on this, this grid view because it really doesn't need to be. Perfect, perfect, and perfect. And then we shall get a whole bunch more splitters, please. And then we will do the standard method of... Is that the way it works? I can never remember if that's the way that it works. So, if I output onto... I don't think it is. I don't think that's the way that it does work. Well, let's try it. Let's try it. Take this back a little bit. Okay, we'll, we're, we're using this for testing purposes. Testing purposes only. Yeah, no, okay, it doesn't. My bad. Sorry, plastic. I've disrupted your flow. Okay, I'll take this all back up. Okay, let me clear up all of this nonsense plastic. And move all of you guys forward a bit. That's not forward enough. That's forward enough. That's forward enough. Okay, is that forward enough? I think that should be forward enough. Okay, we're going to need a shit ton more splitters. I did not envision needing needing a lot of splitters, but I guess we do. Um, you know, we probably could have just used basic ones, but I don't know why we're using red ones. Like, the creme de la creme of splitterage. 14 splitters. You reckon that's going to be enough? Maybe. Maybe not. I, I'm not entirely sure. Uh, well, we'll give it a try anyway and see... See what comes up, see what gels. Oh my god, we need 40 iron gears. Holy shit, that's a lot. That's a lot, lot, lot. Uh, let's get the repair kit out in the meantime, if we had it, which we don't. Let's build the repair kit first so that we can uh, do some repairing while we're waiting for the splitters to continue construction. There we go, repairing done. Right, now I'm waiting for my splitters. In fact, no, we can do a little bit more repairing. There we go. Uh, do we have enough repair kits to do this, though? Probably not. Three repair kits is not an awful lot. Okay. Ah, so close. So, so close. And five splitters. Let me take these guys up now. Okay. Oh, we've got enough. Perfect. Great. Hallelujah. That's great. That's great news. Uh... We'll just take one more splitter. One more splitter is perfect. Okay, so that's the wrong order, but whatever. It doesn't matter. Okay. And that there. I suppose it is sort of complemented by the fact that it's all fast belt. It's kind of nice. There we go. Now, as even as possible would be great. Looks like this actually is going to be kind of even. Yeah, this looks, this does look kind of even, actually. And you know what? We can actually bring this all just a little bit more forward. Yeah, why not? I, I see no reason against it. Yeah, it makes it look a lot, lot better. And in fact, we could bring it further than that still, but I think, do we want to, do we want to compact it a little bit more? Um, it can't really hurt, to be honest. Yeah, I don't, I don't think there's anything wrong with, with doing that. Yeah, so what's the furthest we can bring it forward? Something like this, perhaps? Will that even work? I think that'll work. Yeah, that should work uh, no bother at all. And I know it sort of looks a little bit less cool, but... You know what? We're cool because we saved space. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, well, if that's what I clarify as cool, that if, I, if that's what I classify as cool, should I say, then uh, I think, uh, I, think I, I have very, very little idea what being cool actually, what it actually means to be cool. But perhaps that is just me. Don't connect. Let us underground belt yet an. <laughs> Let's let it. Let us underground belt yet another bit of the plastic uh, of the plastic production line, plastic supply line, should I say? 
Um, how many times have we underground belted the plastic supply line? Well, let's count. One. Oh, it's cut off up here. What's wrong? Did I just not belt that? Or did I take the belt up or something? Or biters? Did biters just attack it and I just didn't care enough to replace it? Potentially. Yeah, so, okay, let's, let's count. Once. Twice. Three times. Four times. Five times. Six times. Seven times. Eight times. Nine times. Nine times! That's crazy. That's, that's absolute insanity. Uh, we're going to need bigger production poles. Bigger production poles? Bigger poles. Just bigger poles. I think. We're also probably going to need a little bit more coal production in base because... Uh, obviously, we've got a greedy power area that we need uh, we need to feed. Also, we need to actually uh, get some big-ass power poles, which I know we, we did make, but we just haven't placed between here and our production area. So that's something that we are going to need to do. Let's create a butt-ton of these. Okay. And one more. Well, maybe not one more. Lots more. The more, the better. Yeah, we're going to need a lot more coal. Going to need a lot, lot more coal. And we're probably going to need a significant, significant upgrade to the belt. Yeah, let's upgrade the belt. Because, why not? Well, I suppose you could probably give me a whole bunch of reasons as to why not. But, we're upgrading the belt. Yeah, go us. Woohoo! Uh, we'll need more underground belts. We just need we just need the supply area to here to be fast. That's all we need it to be. Like that's the only thing that we that we really truly need. Okay, that can go there, and then the underground belt can go. Oh, not there. There, perfect. All right, and a few more. Mining, uh, mining pieces of apparatus, if you will. We still need to connect them up to power. That's fine. Now, what I'm actually going to do is because we're we're sort of running out of space here. We're sort of running out of space. Is I'm going to try and going to try and do something a little bit sneaky. You know, we've got all of this mining power up here, but it's just not really being used. So let's take. A fast, a fast splitter. Let's go and upgrade this belt actually while we've got the opportunity to do so. Because we're going to need to. Here we go. Okay. Boom, 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 and boom. And let's take this fast splitter and split it off. So that we can actually utilize this already existing coal infrastructure. I think that that's probably the right course of action. Great. And I think that that is very, very cool indeed. And it should lead to a bunch more coal being actually stuck into the train. Which is exactly what I intend to happen. Is it going to be enough coal to supply an entire production area? Or an, an, a tire, an entire power production area, should we say? Um, I think it's going to be... I think it's going to be... A fairly good idea to I think, I think it's gonna be almost enough that's what I mean to say okay power production we're gonna add that uh, main station output we're gonna add that there and you know don't forget we can actually use we can actually use this output to to output a whole bunch of things like I was thinking perhaps we do three coal carriages and one ammo carriage or whatever uh, that's not gonna be needed just quite yet, but uh, in the future potentially, uh, that might be something that we we consider doing. Okay. This is fine. This is good news. This is very good news. That's not what I meant to click. I, went, I meant to click M. Uh, let's let's set a a minute or something at the main station output, and then 30 seconds over there. There we go. Let's take our train. Where's our train? Did I really just miss the opportunity to get in that train? No! And we're going to buffer it there, which is kind of cool. Uh, let's make another train. We're going to need to make them eventually, so we might as well make them now. Okay. Rotate. 
uh, stick some wood in, get in here, and let's go, let's go, let's not crash this time, why, what's the issue here, why, why do you not want to go, oh, oh, because there's a, that's where the train was, okay, I'm with you, I'm with you game, I'm picking up what you're putting down, and we need to upgrade all of these to fast inserters. For now, we can upgrade only the ones that actually export the coal directly off the trains. Because they are the only ones that are in need of imminent upgrades. But these other ones are all eventually going to have to be upgraded. In fact, they probably don't all eventually have to be upgraded. You know, just for now. That's fine. Okay, we can pick up this. And you are departing. Fantastic. So it looks like this entire area is going to be in full use almost all of the time, which is lovely to see. So let's connect a couple of big power poles just to make sure that even if the aliens attack, we will still be able to uh, have power, so to speak. Okay, how far will this stretch? All the way down there. Not bad. You know what? Not bad, game. There we go. Now we're talking. It was a horrifically uh, off-centered post, but it doesn't really matter. We're really, really stretching it out, actually. Okay. And then in the base, we'll do this here. And this should actually probably fix our power supply issues. Yeah, it totally, totally does. Really, really happy with that. And let me run across the tracks quickly. Phew, thank God I didn't get killed. Yeah, I mean, it's not going to be taking a whole bunch of coal, but it's going to be taking enough coal that uh, it sort of warrants the service. So there we go. We set up our very, very first train route. Uh, we are fine for power now. Let's turn on the labs, I guess, since we've uh, got this abundance of power right now. Shotgun shells, shooting speed, great. I'll take it. I'll take it. And uh, we're buffering coal in these chests, which is lovely to see. Fantastic. Super, super, super happy with uh, with what we've done. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very, very much for watching Factorial Rails Not Robots. My name, of course, is Obito Potato. Tune in next time where, uh, where I don't really know what we'll be doing. In fact, I, I'm almost certain that I know what we'll, we'll, we'll be doing. We'll either be doing thinking we'll either be thinking about iron um, iron and copper up here or we will be thinking about setting up an advanced uh, an advanced circuit area or something well either way it's going to be fantastic so tune in then for more factorial rails not robots my name of course has been Robert potato and uh, i'll see you then bye